I just hope Abby likes it here. You know, if everything goes well, orphans from all over the city will get a chance to stay in homes like ours. It should be good for them. I think the Help Center should be real proud of you for thinking up that program. Thank you. I also think if you don't put that panda bear down, you two might get engaged. <laughs> oh, morning, George. Morning, Louise. Franz, give me my breakfast. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Mr. Jefferson. See if you can figure this one out. Why did the elephant turn around on his way to the airport? Say what? Just say I don't know. <laughs> For what? So I can give you the punchline. Come on. Why did the elephant turn around on his way to the airport? I'm not going to say it, Florence. Where is the doll I bought for Abby? I don't know. Because he forgot to pack his truck. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, Mr. Jefferson? He forgot to pack his truck. <laughs> OK, I got one for you. Why did the hungry boss fire his lazy maid? <laughs> it's folks like you that kill vaudeville. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna kill you if you don't get my breakfast. Oh, George, about your breakfast. The funniest thing happened <laughs> when Florence and I went shopping. We got so busy picking up things for Abby's breakfast, we completely forgot about yours. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you had to be there. So what am I supposed to do? Well, you got a choice between chocolate choo-choos Animal puffs and something special for you. Honey coated peewees. <laughs> Don Weezy, how could you forget my breakfast? It slipped my mind, but you don't have to stand there and act like a child. I ain't act like no child. Where are you going? To get my animal puffs. <laughs> oh my God, it's Abby. Uh, sit there and be calm. Now, just be yourself and everything will be fine. Oh. Did I forget anything? Yeah, unless you expect her to come in through the keyhole. <laughs> Mrs. Jefferson? Mr. Curry? Yes, from the Eastview Children's Home. And this is Abby Lawson. Oh, isn't she precious? How are you, Abby? Hey, Abby. My name is Florence. You want to see your room? Go ahead, Abby. It's all right. Well, so far, so good. Uh, I'm sure once she gets used to us, she will have a great time. I wish I could share your enthusiasm. But lots of orphans are withdrawn, and personally, I think that these programs should be left to more qualified people. Well, thanks for the encouragement. For that, you can thank my supervisor. You see, Mrs. Owens is more of a social romantic than I am. Maybe that's why she's your supervisor. <laughs> I'll come back in a week for Abby. In case there's something you can't handle, you've got my number. I've got your number, all right. <laughs> gray, weighs 10,000 pounds, and goes ding-dong, ding-dong. The Avon elephant. Get it? <laughs> ding-dong, ding-dong. Uh, Florence, I think she'd rather do something else. Um, do you want to play with some games? Or watch TV? Look, Abby, we want to be your friends. But we can't unless you meet us halfway, all right? I can't tell, Miss Jefferson. Did she meet us yet or not? <laughs> I think she passed us right by. Oh, I bet I know what you want. I, I've got a doll here that talks. At least something will be talking. <laughs> oh, George, this is Abby. Hey, Abby. Come on over and have some of my ammo puffs. Hey, what? Get back. I think we just found the doll. Who put this here? I could have had a heart attack and drowned in my ammo puffs. 